This is a Bahamian house from the 1800s, predating the birth of Miami. Today I'm exploring the Bahamian community, which is deeply rooted in the foundation of the city. Can you have imagined in the 1880s, walking around here in the swamp and you find this house? Crazy. The Bahamas is way more than cruise ships, beaches, and Atlantis with your kids. They have history, they have culture, and most importantly, they have the most delicious national dish, conch. And with that said, let's go to the restaurants, let's explore lots of conch. Follow me. And our first stop is King's Miami Conch, and King is over here. <laughs> How you doing, man? Great to see you. <laughs> Good, Good to see Lord. you, too. I'm everywhere I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, King, what are we doing here today? So, we're going to do conch for this, and then we're going to do conch salad. So the cook first is going to be a ball form today, and the cook style will be a thick Bahamian style. And so you're not Bahamian, but your best friend is? My best friend is Bahamian, and we've known each other since we was very young, and I learned to cook the cook fish and everything from him specifically, so it's really a really authentic style. Like, it's like how they make it in the Bahamas. I get tons of people from the Bahamians, born and raised, they come, and like, yo, this takes me back home. So this is going to be very good for you. Tomorrow we'll make one year. One year? Yeah, so Congrats. I've been here for one year, so it's been wonderful, it's been a blessing. This is actually like my first like true Miami Bahamian street food experience. We're here at a gas station, a 103 and a 22nd Avenue. And so we're gonna go in the back now and see how you make it. Sure, sure, let's go. Is this your daughter? Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. So it motivated me to actually create because she likes to eat every day. So right here, the basic ingredients, green peppers, onions, tomatoes. That was to use for authentic Bahamian cook salad. So we're gonna get going right now. So conch salad is the Bahamian version of ceviche. So you have lime in there, you have mm -hmm. more juices. Fresh squeezed orange juice, lime, we're gonna chop them up over there. And then we're gonna dice it up. I got a special blend of seasoning already with a little bit of salt and easy peasy. I love this, let's go. So King, tell me what you're doing here. Well, I'm just getting rid of the bad part of the tomato first. And I'm gonna dice it up real simple for everybody. You love conch salad? Oh, of course. I mean, I still eat it all the time. I'm here every day, and I still eat it for about five days a week. In terms of ingredients for the conch salad, we have onion, tomato, bell pepper. Mm -hmm. What's that over there? That's the conch right there. That's the oh, star. that is the conch. That's the starch. We, I've already tenderized it. I like why I tenderized it. Because I haven't seen it like this. Usually, I, you see it like the snail, like the whole no, I can pull, piece. I can pull a piece off for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. whole piece for you, but this has already been tenderized. So this would be the whole... Yeah, piece. it looks like chicken. But we tenderize it to make it easier to consume. So like people with uh, bad teeth or whatever the case is. And to me, it allows the flavor to get into the meat more. It's more tender. It just, and to me, it tastes better. Definitely. Tastes better. Yeah. yeah, so there's many different styles of eating conch. We're having conch salad. Conch fritters, we're having that as well mm -hmm. here. You also have, uh, what is it, crack conch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what's another one? Uh, conch uh, chowder. Mm -hmm. Oh, you well. got crack conch, you got um, conch fritters, you got conch salad. You got scorched conch, so it's a variety of different options of conch. I mean, you can make it soup and a whole bunch of things. I'm the most important ingredient with eating conch fritters, that sauce. It's, yeah. it's, oh. it's like a ketchup mayo? Well, it's a special blend. Special blend. So when you taste this one, you're going to say, oh, it's, it's, it's lights out. Let's do it. Definitely. So how many places do you say you get five different places? Hopefully. It's going to be a busy, busy day for you. Yeah. I mean, two of them haven't really confirmed. We're just showing up and giving them the courtesy, you know, like, because I want to include them. Oh, well, that's good. So what makes a good conch salad? The seasoning. The seasoning. That, to me, is the texture of the conch. Like, if you got a good texture for good seasoning, then that's it. A lot of people over-season it, which is what makes a difference. Like, for me, personally, what we do is we actually make it specifically for the customer, so we don't have a set like this is a we make it regular, we make it mild, we make it spicy. A lot of people just have it one way and you just get whatever they give you. But what if you don't like spicy things or you can't handle the spicy stuff, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that con looks good. Chopping it up, dicing it up. Mm -hmm. It's like minced minced conch. That's how we like it. Well I mean, you know, some people like it like that. Oh, I like this. But here personally I think this is better. Yeah, and again, with the conch salad, the conch is raw, right out the water. Right out. Oh, the best, fresh. You know what's funny? I used to have this so much. I, so I went to the Bahamas a lot when I was young. Mm -hmm. A lot, man. I used to go on a on a boat with a buddy of mine. He has a yacht, and I used mm -hmm. to go every summer, 40 days. Ooh. Yeah, man. Amazing. I went down to the Exumas once. Mm -hmm. I used to spearfish a lot. Scary. Out there, bull sharks, hammerhead sharks. 
scary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude, especially in Harbor Island, if you ever go to Harbor so Island, Pink so Sands. Right. Oh man, this place, you go in the water and all you see are tunas the size of this freaking place. And then you try to, I mean, can't get that. Right, but the right, grouper right. you get. You right, know? right, 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 right. You went for 40 days? Yeah, 40 days, uh, like three or four summers in a row. Wow. Every high school. Dude, you're like... Every, every summer, every you, summer break. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'm more Bahamian than Bahamians, dude. <laughs> it's almost like a pico de gallo. Next up, we got the orange yeah, juice. Just fill it up to right here. Up to there? Yep, yeah, right there. It's a lot of orange juice. That's fine. Keep going. Keep going. Mix it good. Mm -hmm. And this ain't Tropicana. This is real fresh, deal. real deal, mm -hmm. freshly squeezed oranges. Damn, I need, I need a glass for this. How many you get you know, to it? Uh, probably about six. Depends on how much juice is in it. Sometimes they're really juicy. Sometimes they're not. To me, I think the key with the lime is to make sure it's really fresh. Yeah. Because so what do you got there? This is a special blend right here. Special blend? Mm -hmm. Nice and spicy. Smile. Yeah. You want the spice? No, no, it's good. Okay. Uh, especially because <laughs> my friends are going to eat probably too. So. <laughs> See, I didn't know that uh, Bahamians added orange juice to the, yeah, you to the salad. Juice, I didn't know. Yeah, because I think that in Peruvian ceviche and Central American ceviche, they don't add orange juice. Well, you know, they have more lime. That's the thing. Like, once you actually sip it, you're going to say, okay, I get it. It's more, especially the Bahamian style. It's more for citrus flavor, mm -hmm. basically. This looks amazing. I would just drink that like that. <laughs> is, that do. is that how you're serving it to me? Yeah. Ooh, I might just. By the way, this is my favorite dish in Miami. Just tell me. Conf fritters. Conf oh, fritters. This is the best conf fritters in Miami. The best conf fritters? The best. We're going to come to a mutual. No, it's going to be the best, period. Be that. And I have to show like you guys. That. This is the Listen. sauce. Listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. The sauce is amazing. Even then with the fritters, it's better. Mmm. I love it. It's like creamy and smooth. There you go. See? Wow. Different. It's a mayo ketchup. No, it's, it's not. Different. It's not mayo ketchup. Different. Don't confuse. The mayo ketchup is the regular degla. <laughs> we don't do regular degla over here. We do amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So right here he has the the conch batter. You ready for me? All right. There we go. Like the only way to get some better fritters, you literally have to go to the Bahamas. These are amazing. As y'all can see, see you can see the conch just in there for days. Tons and tons of conch in here. So much paparazzi for some conch, bro. Listen, it's the star. Let me see what we got here. We're good. So how long does it go for? Five minutes? It's about five minutes. About five minutes. I actually got the other basket out there. That's why I'm holding this one. This one's a little bit lines up different. Fall is love. Mm -hmm. I make this for my princess, so. It's gotta be perfect. <laughs> Dude, I, I can eat hundreds of these. Listen, these are so yummy. They're I'm like mushy. You right now, that after you get these, every time you come, you're gonna come here for fritters. There's no way around it. Every single time. I'm pumped. No way around. Conk it up, man. Like, they cannot <laughs> under deliver. Like these things are amazing. Right on the money. What are you looking for? Just to make sure they're done all the way through. That's it. So I'll poke it, make sure nothing coming out. No dough was coming out. These are all done to look like. That's it. It takes a minute to drop them, so sometimes some will be done well, all the time. Some are done before the others. So you do that just to make sure they're all done. And we just grab some sauce, and then y'all good to go. Conch fritters are ready. Oh, still super hot. Mmm. <laughs> good. <laughs> the best. I can pop them. It's, it's delicious. Love the spices. And you feel the conch. Wow. Wow, bro. Hey, I haven't had conch in a while. This is amazing. <laughs> conch salad, thank you. Look at that beauty. This is real street food in Miami. Can't wait, nice chunk. Oh man, the lime. I can drink it. I haven't had conch this good. <laughs> it's conch salad. It's, it's exciting, dude. <laughs> this is amazing. This is actually one of my favorite things in the world. It's like ceviche, mm -hmm. like just lime, See, vegetables, and meat. That's how I got so good. I'll tell you a story. Okay, the reason how we got really good once at making the kung salad, we took it to my, one of my friends, they sell kung salad. And 
he made her one and we tasted it, it was amazing. So I went back and said, hey, yo, that thing was amazing. And I walked back to the van, it was gone. I said, what you, you dropped it? She said, no, that thing, I inhaled it. I said, inhaled it, this her right here, this the one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said, okay, I went back, bought another one. I came back, we tasted it, it wasn't the same as the first one. It was good, but it wasn't amazing. And I said, oh, wow, that's strange. And then, you know, a month or so later, I ended up buying a truck. And I remember when I bought my truck, I was going to make sure we ma we uh, mastered the recipe so it's the same every time. So every single time, it's exactly the same type of flavor. So your life changed because of one dish. Yes, yes. And her loving the one dish. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, Dude, I can, I can eat this forever. I mean, you can have me here just, like, devouring it. I, I love the combination. Yeah, man, this is amazing. I, if you were near me, I would stop by every day, get one. How much does it cost? $20? Yeah, it's a $20, but $20 of epicness. Look at that. It is really, really full. It's like, you can't even bite it. It's too much. Is that one Hong Kong? Oh, no, we have like a certain amount of food in there, but every time we make it, it's loaded. Like, we honestly make our food, because we have a lot of bloggers that come, so we actually make it like, you could pull up at any point in time, it's exactly the same. Like, it don't matter what day you come, it don't matter, like, we make it like everybody's a superstar when we come through. It. So it's amazing every time. Like, we're like over deliver. And I have to ask you a question. Okay, I'm listening. Why so many hot sauces? Because I like to make sure that people get exactly what they want. Like, we here, amazing what it's all about. But we are missing one hot sauce, though. There's something that we do need. There's something I need that's not far, oh, we're gonna need a case of this. You can just send me the case. Oh, it look good. We're about to taste this one. Yes, ASAP. Taste this one. Yes, ASAP. <laughs> taste this one. This? That's this sauce. It's special. I mm -hmm. see. I've been waiting to get it. Hey, King, if I continue, I won't eat this. So let me let me get the Kung Fritters. <laughs> no, I need them right away. This is like my go-to snack. Look, Back in the day in the Bahamas. He's going to do one, though. <laughs> nice. Small, fluffy, still hot. Not too oily. It's too good. <laughs> no, I love the seasoning inside, and you can feel the chunky pieces of conch. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> this is what you get when you go to fish restaurants in Miami. Conch fritters, or no, the other one. The oh, crack conch. Crack conch. Crack conch. Yeah. Crack conch. So yeah. crack conch is just uh, beaten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so it's we tenderized. It. Yeah. You're right, man. <laughs> Look at that. I love the sauce. I told you that. Like, hey, catch and, uh, you know who made the sauce? She made the sauce. That's oh, you made the sauce? Because she doesn't like sauce. She eats everything plain. So she was like, if we can make a sauce that um, I like, everybody else will like it. Because I don't like sauce. I mean, I got to say, it, it needs a sauce. Mm. I can't eat conch fritter with no sauce. Mm. Maybe some spiciness to it. No, no. It's pretty cool. So everybody comes. We have several customers that come. Like, I don't like sauce, but this sauce I like. And I'm like, with well, the person that made it, I don't like sauce either. So oh. it's just... It was wonderful. I guess it was like a team team effort. <laughs> Conk all day here. Anybody want this? No. Oh, it's mine. Now. Thank you. This combo, bro, two epic dishes. Yeah, yeah, no. Everything fresh, you know, made to order. And that's one thing, he makes everything to order. So when you come in, he makes it all fresh. Is this water? Eliminate. That's her lemonade. So it's your lemonade? Yeah, it's her lemonade. Where are you? Where are you? She be acting shop. We didn't get the labels to be in uh, this weekend, tomorrow, like Thursday. I think we have the labels for Have you been to the Bahamas? Oh, yeah, I've been there a couple times. Yeah, where, where have you gone? Um, I went to Nassau, but the main thing for me is to my friends, they go and my customers, you know, and we just refined it, you know. And because she loved it so much, you know, daddy got to make it right for princess. As an American going to the Bahamas, it's just appreciating the culture. You know, and whenever you go somewhere else, you always have to appreciate the lingo, the, the, I mean, culture's the best word, you know, the, the passion they have for everything Bahamian, Bahama, everything Bahamian, they have a lot of passion for it, you know, and it's, it's something you just have to see, you know, firsthand really to experience it. So because I do Bahamian culture justice and I represent the 242, 
in the proper light, then there's no problems. They don't have the reason to have no issue with me because I do it, you know, the, the Kunk's fruit is amazing, the Kunk salad is amazing, and we do it, you know, true to his nature. Hey man, thanks for coming to Kings Miami Kunk, man. We appreciate it, man. And this right here, this is the new stylet over here. We push this thing out everywhere. My man, thank you so much. You too. I'm gonna drink this right now. Thank you. Let's go. More conk. Conk it up. And next up, we have Shaker's Conk House, famous for their conk fritters. They also have amazing cakes. And this place reminds me of like stepping into a Bahamian restaurant in the Bahamas. And it's takeout. It's all takeout. Steamed conk, fried conk, conk and shrimp. And over here, this is it. This is the conk. I have a bunch of these at home. I bought them on the trips. Conk, fruit of the sea. Look at this beautiful. Annie and Hugden Milbury. So Annie's in the back. She's cooking up the conk. Life raft. Something you'll see in every fish restaurant. They always have this stuff. Nets, barnacles, conk. I'm going to go with the conk fritters. Small conk? Small conk, yeah. I'm doing a conk tour today. I can't have the big okay, one. That's good. Okay. I heard you guys have amazing cake though. Yes. Yeah? No, let me take them on. Okay. Lemon cake? Let me get one lemon cake too. Okay. So we're going to have some conch fritters and some lemon cake, Bahamian style. Small fried conch by itself? Yeah. Okay. Well, we need the sauce though. You have the sauce. Yes, right? I have the sauce. My favorite street food in Miami. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? From Bahamas. You're from the Bahamas? Yeah, whereabouts? No, I'm from the Bahamas. They're from Georgia. No, but where in the Bahamas are you from? Oh, Freeport. Freeport. So Freeport's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, it's north of Bimini. Yeah, yeah I've been. Okay. From here in the boat, what, two hours? You like it? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I can eat conch all day. That's why I love the Bahamas. Oh, wow. Beach conch and uh, what is it? What's, uh, the, what's the drink? Kalik. Kalik gold. Kalik gold. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, I, I used to go to the Bahamas uh, 20, 20 plus years ago. Oh, okay. I went a lot. That's yeah, right here. Right. It's like right. the flight is only an hour flight to anywhere. It's like Zuma's is an hour flight. Exactly. All right, this is the cake? Yeah. It's great. So the Bahamians speak any other language or do they speak English? Just English. Just English. Do you conk every day? No, not every day, but sometimes. Never. Yeah, what's your favorite Bahamian dish? Shrimp. This shrimp is my favorite. Just fried shrimp? Yeah. Oh, conch and shrimp, yeah, that's yeah, the top yeah, one? Yes. Well, it's fine. We'll get fried it's conch. It's a dinner. It's a dinner. Yes. Come with collard greens, string beans, some macaroni and cheese, potato salad, and, and tossed salad. You have to pick two sides. Oh, Annie, how you doing? How are you? Very good. No, I'm just giving them this, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. You're this crack conch. Yes. yes. So as you can this, see, they say crack, but that's what you order. Fried conch. Bahamians say crack, but here it's fried conch. Okay. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Just the terminology is different. Oh, okay, because conch fritters are like the balls. Yeah, we do. You know, some conch fritters are flat, but mm -hmm. we do the conch balls, and they're round. Wow. Okay, but it's the same thing, but the terminology is different. Okay. Hey, I learned something new today. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Is it okay? We try it right here? Yeah. I'm going to try it right here, guys. And that's the hot sauce. Oh, and that's the hot sauce? Conk sauce, and that's the hot sauce, and lemon juice. And you lemon juice? Yes, lemon juice. You want tartar sauce? And no, but the lemon juice, what do we do with this? You're going to dip yeah, it? Yeah, just pour it, or you can dip it if you like. Like dip this? Ooh, it's so hot. This is the crack conk. All right, so I have to get the sauce. Like that, just dunk it. Mm -hmm. I like it more like this. Mm. Oh yeah, crispy. The sauce is smooth. Hi, how are you? It's different than the sauce. I mean, the conch is so tender. It's amazing, dude. I can eat so much of this. And to date, she was like, you're not gonna stop. No way. Bro, this is like nostalgia for me. Being on Harbor Island, getting a Kalik Gold, eating some fried conch on the pink sands. Hot sauce. Oh, yeah? What are they in the hot sauce? This restaurant's been around since 1990? 30 years. Mm. That's like Cristal. No, not my favorite. 
This is a this lime juice. Mm -hmm. Lime juice. So you do this, and I, yeah, yeah, they do this in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before. Congratulations. We drown the crack hog in lime juice. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the best. Sauce. Just conch sauce. But is it ketchup and mayo? Yeah, ketchup and mayo. Ketchup mayo. With something else in it. Because it looks a little different. Yeah. Like a thousand island, but on the smoke. Oh, almost like a thousand yeah. island. A little different though, yeah. Because awesome. it's similar. So in the Bahamas, they don't got no flan like Puerto Rico. They have lemon cake. Feels like there's rum in here. It's definitely English origins too from that. High crust. So fluffy. Are we sure this is not a lemon rum cake? This is the British influence in the Bahamas. That's so good. This with ice cream, vanilla ice cream on top. It's amazing. It's, it's too good. We just need some ice cream. You don't have Bahamian ice cream? No? You don't sell ice cream. I'm joking. <laughs> hey, thank you for me. Right. Delicious, but this is amazing. <laughs> okay, then. Thank, Thank you. you Appreciate awesome. you. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. Right. Take care. Hi. Right. I'm going to heaven. Yes, this is conch heaven. Love the restaurant. The outside, we have the Bahamian flag. And inside, it's like a Bahamian diner. Welcome. So over here, this is a takeout area. And this is the restaurant. Nice, tropical, Caribbean style, wood everywhere. Hey, how you doing? I love the colors. Are you from the Bahamas? No, actually Cayman Islands. From the Cayman Islands. Oh, you're from the Cayman Islands? Yes. It's one I'm missing. I'm still, I have to go there. Yeah, I'm new here. Yeah, you're new? Mm -hmm. So can we pass? Perfect. Hello, hello. Is that sauce? Yeah, it's sauce. It's sauce. It's so is it sauce, chicken feet, or chicken tongue, or? Chicken's feet, right? Chicken's chicken feet, feet, I thought, yeah. I think there's different versions of it, though. It's pig foot. Uh, That's the chicken wings. You guys do infinite conch here, huh? Because we're, we're in the conch heaven. Yeah. And this is the conch right here. This is yeah. the snail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how much conch is there? Pounds and pounds of that nice white meat. The other white meat? So right here we have Chef Denzo. That's how you say it? Denzo? Yeah. Are <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And you're from Freeport, you told me. Yeah, I'm from Freeport. So you make the best conch. So they say. Yeah, so I was looking at your menu, so many different conch uh, options. I'm thinking steamed conch, mm -hmm. uh, conch burger, mm -hmm. and then you surprised me. What the, scorch conch? Scorch, yeah, scorched, right? right? Scorched conch is like a conch salad, but just onions. Yeah, it's just onions. It's just the onions. And that's the conch. It's amazing how it looks like chicken. Yeah. But it's definitely more tender. How long have you been a chef for? Uh, I've been here quite a bit. Yeah? So what's the best uh, conch dish, in your opinion? I more prefer the fried conch. Fried conch? Yeah. You guys have a special sauce as well, right? Like yeah. that mayo ketchup? Um, yeah. Oh, this looks like an escovich. Yeah. It's a lot of conch. Heavy duty conch. How much conch do you guys go through every day? A lot. A lot. I mean, this restaurant is just conch. Yeah, a lot. Do you add any lime or anything to that yeah. as well? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever eaten this much conch. I've already had four conch dishes. <laughs> That's a lot of lime. Is that orange juice? Yeah, freshly. Freshly squeezed orange juice? Yeah. Wow, let me try right here. Yeah. Can? Do you have a spoon? I mean, he's just making these. Really, I'm gonna try this one, but which, I mean, for for it's content, really it's great. Good. You know, you can put the pepper on the side because you don't want it hot. Sometimes the pepper is a little too hot for some of the customers, so we put it on the side with some extra limes for your, you know, to your taste. 
So are you local from here? Um, I was born in Bahamas, Nassau, and I was raised in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, got it. So I have a little bit of both. <laughs> so you are Bahamian? Yes. Well, I never seen somebody chopping tomato. <laughs> that was raw. Yeah, he's official with the blade now. No, with the blade is fast. Yeah. Wow. I tell you, conch salad is the king of dishes, right? Yeah, it's so healthy too. That's what I love about it. You can have this whole thing and I'm good. But of course, everybody wants the fried stuff. It reminds me of like a pico de gallo. The shellfish. Yeah. Yeah, because the guy has, doesn't have any meat in it, right? They just add that after, like the shrimp. I feel like there probably is a version with it in uh, Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a, it's a salsa. This is not. This is a beautiful salad. Huge. So yeah, it's just like the squash. Same thing, just one has tomato and bell pepper, the other one doesn't. Yeah. And I could have added a little more color to this one. I'm going to have to try this one. So some people prefer it with scotch bonnet. Oh, with scotch bonnet? Oh, yeah. That's the way you style it. That's very Jamaican of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very hot, so. I'm going to add it. I'm going to add it for sure. Did you say no, scotch bonnet yeah, scorpion. is. Scorpion. Yeah, scorpion is Trini. The Jamaicans love scotch bonnet. Yeah, so but in Bahamas, there's a lot of pepper. The scotch bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. And why did you decide to come to Miami? Just opportunity? Yeah, the opportunity. They said it's the land of the opportunity. Yeah. Well, Freeport's right there. Like on a boat, it's a two hour quick thing. A little, a little bit longer. Then. A little bit longer. Yeah. Well, I went to Bimini on a on like a thirty foot contender. Mm -hmm. Got there in like ninety minutes, but we we're flying. Yeah, Bimini is like what forty nine miles, fifty miles. Forty nine miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's right there. It's right there. If you're only gonna take one spoon, you can try it right here. I'm gonna try this it. guy. I'm gonna try this guy. Look at that. All the juices right here. It's like ceviche. It's like ceviche. Onions and conch. I personally like that one better. The conch salad better? Well, I like tomatoes and the bell pepper. Okay. It gives it more flavor. This is just like onions and conch. It's all about the conch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the lime is what, you know, what brings out so much more extra flavor. Mmm. -hmm. It's so rich. It's like meaty. I forgot how meaty conch was. To be honest, it's been many years since I've seen it. It's too good. It's too good. It's really good. Nice and tender. I could drink this though. This right here? Oh yes, that's my favorite part, the juice. The juice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, we also have like lobster salad, shrimp salad. The shrimp salad, so good. Especially when he make it, <sighs> off the table. <laughs> yeah? He's sitting over there in the corner right now, but don't let him fool you. He, he, he's good at making conch salads and all of that too. That's one of the head chefs right there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you're from NASA? Yes. Yeah, so how long have you been in Miami? Oh, for a long time, long time. Since I was like, what, six, seven? Yeah. Wow. And wh why did you come? More opportunities, you know, here. And, um, you know, build my own life here, you know? My mm -hmm. mom and family are still in Bahamas, and I'm over here with my husband, so, you know. In terms of food, what's your favorite dish? Here, I gotta say, I love me some conch salad. Mm-hmm. But I do love the chicken sauce here. Chicken sauce? Yes, if you never tried chicken sauce, it's very good. But that wasn't it right there. That's chicken wings over there. No, that's that's chicken, that's wings. But um, it's almost like a soup almost, but it has to be, make it with lime. But him and we love lime. So, yeah, yeah, so, I know. Yeah. We've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like more in Bahamas though. Caribbean people love lime. Caribbean people? Yeah, lemons, limey stuff, all that. The culture, the people, just, you know, you, the yes, especially the water. the water. But um, when people come to Bahamas, they just think Atlantis is the only thing to you know view and see, and it's much more to the island than just Atlantis. You got the beautiful beaches, you have the beautiful culture, sightseeing everywhere, you know. And Atlantis isn't even on Nassau. That is no, Paradise, Island. Paradise Island. It's yes. across a bridge. 
just like South Beach. We gotta cross the bridge to go we over have there. Many parts of Bahamas that a lot of people in America don't know about. Yeah. So it's different parts of the islands that you have to take a boat to certain parts as well. So I'll tell you guys, my favorite thing to do in the Bahamas: go to the Exumas and go see the pigs. Mm -hmm. It's a very touristic thing, but the Exumas yeah. are beautiful. The Exumas, they filmed a 007 there, James Bond. Mm -hmm. You post up on your boat on a buoy and you just jump in the water. If you go to like parades and everything, you'll see people selling conch salad. It might not be the original way we make it. It may be a little bit more tropical. They throw a, a tomato paste, Americans throw in there or whatever. But they do take some of our culture because we do migrate here. And they put their own twist to it, like the conch salads, the conch fritters. Here they make it like a pancake and stuff. The original way, the Bahamian way, is conch balls, the, you know, so. And our conch salads, fresh, lime, orange juice, they put all this extra stuff. The most we'll do is put some pineapple in it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we don't add cucumbers and all of that like, you know, some people may do here in America. Yeah. Great. Thank you. So, so you're saying you speak conch? <laughs> He's going to drop the conch fritters? So this is the fried conch that's going in the burger? Or that is the burger. Yeah. Okay. So Zoe here is saying that he dares me to try the scotch bonnet. This looks intense. What do they call it? Pickles? In Haiti? Pickles. 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 Then he's getting a spoon so I can try it. Pickles is a little different uh, like sauce in there. So right here? Very, very easy on it. No, no, for sure. I know that. I know what this is. <laughs> scotch bonnet. No joke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of conch. Start trying. And then get the best scotch bonnet on top. You guys think? That's a lot, dude. That's a lot? Mmm. <laughs> Ninja spice. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Scotch bonnet is no joke. Oh. Ah. I need some water. I can give you a glass of water if you like. You want some? I'm gonna need some. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'll bring you a bottle. Festival. Loading in butter. This is um, the Johnny cake. Oh, that's a Johnny cake. Yeah. Oh, wow, with that much butter, huh? <laughs> but some people want a lot of butter. Some people want it light butter. So right here we have something very special. It's called a Johnny cake. So is it a pound cake that has butter on top? It's more. Yeah. Like cornbread. Without the cornmeal. That's how customers describe it. Without the cornmeal. Yes. I mean that's it's like. Drenched in butter. <laughs> oh wow, it's hot. It's thick though. It's hot though. Yeah, um, I'll get you a fork if you want. Yeah, yeah. It, it crumbles. It breaks in pieces. I've never had it like this. My first time. Here we go. Let's try this Johnny cake. It's still hot. Thick. Reminds me of a pound cake with lots of butter. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cornbread. It really crumbles. It's fluffy. Uh -huh. Oh, it's pretty good. You know what's amazing though? The festival and this. So for this one, do I put any of that sauce? It's already on the burger. It's already on the burger. Yeah, it's on, it's on the burger. This is amazing, conch burger. Mm. Oh wow. This can be a fast food item for sure. First time trying a conch burger. Yeah, yeah crack conch. Do they do this a lot in the Bahamas? Yeah. Amazing. I would put some more sauce on this. Here you are. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> mm hmm. Add the cherry on top. That ketchup mayo? Absolutely Conk amazing. Sauce. Conk sauce. Good. Conk sauce. Mm -hmm. Not ketchup mayo. No. Those are the only ingredients. <laughs> and I need to show you this. This is Jamaican festival. Mm -hmm. Open it up. Let's say that. More, Still more, super hot. Awesome. Is this one sweet? Yeah, it's a little sweet. It's not too, too sweet. Oh, it's perfect. Small blick. Mm -hmm. This, maybe with some honey or a little ice cream. It's like being in Portland, Jamaica. Exactly. This is just like being in Portland, Jamaica. Amazing. What's your thoughts? In the festival? Really good. 
brings me back to my Montego Bay days, you know? Mm hmm Hip strip. <laughs> I, hate, I hate saying it, but they have some of the best fried bread ever. Yeah. Fried dough. Who knew it would be this good? Yeah, you can't beat it. No. That is a real conch fritter. The other one is crack conch. Ooh, it's hot! Why'd you do this to me? Ah! Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Just forever conch. It's actually conch fritters, fritters. But the Americans more, they call it like conch balls. Conch balls. Yeah. The Americans call it <laughs> conch balls? Because they make it, um, their fritters more pancake yeah. flat. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not how we do it in conchs. No, it has to be round. Yes. Just like this, right into this conch sauce. Still super hot. Here we go. Oh yeah, look the inside. I like it. It's not too oily. A little crispy on the outside. The inside's like juicy, juicy, mushy. Lots of flavor in there, but you need to have the sauce. The conch sauce. Conch sauce is crucial. So every place has a con its own. It's like, conch every single one has their own. Yeah. Mm hmm. Better. <laughs> They're all laughing at me. It is conch heaven. I can't leave without trying the conch salad. Look at this. Made a little tower of conch. That's bomb. Fuego. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take that to go, my man. I have another spot to go to it. I'll eat everything here. I won't be able to eat later. It's too much. The conch is heavy duty, man. Wow. And that was Conk Heaven. On to the next spot. Next up, we have Bahamian Pot Restaurant. This place is a staple. If you're looking for some good uh, conch fritters, but flatten, they have them. Love the colors. So you have conch everywhere. Over here, we have some different, uh, I guess, awards. Different things that happen. Like so, Bahamian Pot brings island vibe to Miami. Boiled fish, stewed conch on the menu. Over here, we have the flag of the Bahamas. We have the shark. If you're not from South Florida, you might not know this, but like anywhere you go, especially in the Florida Keys, Bahamas, they have like fish restaurants and they always have sharks. They have barracudas. They have all this stuff. Over here we have more conch shells. It's massive. That's like a clam shell. It's not That's a clam shell. Yeah, it actually is a clam shell. No, the conch, there's no conch. Oh, there it is. Conch would be the, any one of these. Yeah, so over here we have a conch. Beautiful show. There's a clam show. Yeah, it's abalone, right? I have no idea. This is huge. Is abalone? You know, I've eaten abalone in Hawaii. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's abalone. Bro. It's pretty good. It's huge. What I love about the conch is that it's such an easy dish. I'm, I'm gonna shell, drop this here. Let me let me separate getting, this. You're the ocean when you put it up to You think so? No, this one. This one. No, this is you can't hear anything. The conch you can hear. So we ordered the conch fritter flats, two for $7. They have conch fest, which is their entire conch menu. They have lots of seafood. You got grouper, you have shrimp. They got bacon and grits and eggs. Uh, they have a lot of breakfast here as well. They open really early, 7.30 a.m. Oh, wow, that's big. And that's the sauce? How massive this is. This looks like two festivals, actually. Doesn't look like conch fritters. They're conch fritters. You know, it reminds me of like fish and chips, actually. Like massive, like a fish sandwich. I would love a conch sandwich like this. Why are you so shy? Come on. You don't like taking pictures? You like Scotch bonnet, though? <laughs> I love you. She's from Jamrock. Yeah, I, I, Bob Marley tomorrow, it comes out. It comes out. I know, me too. We were just at uh, Bob's Mausoleum, me and him. Mausoleum. Ooh, but like they just got out of the fryer. Look at that, they're still steaming. Ah! You know, I really wanted to come to, to all the old school Bahamian spots in Miami. That's why we had to come here. Uh, I tried to call, no one answered. I was like, no, we're going, we're going. And they had this unique dish, conch fritters flattened and conch sauce at Bahamian Pot Restaurant. That sauce. So what's the secret in the sauce? Just ketchup and mayo, just dunk it together? <laughs> Are you, are you from Miami or are you Bahamian? I'm Bahamian. Yeah, whereabouts? Nassau. Oh, you're from Nassau? Yeah. Yeah, I love Nassau. Yeah. Lots of conch. Never ending conch. <laughs> now we just drown it in some of that sauce. Conch sauce. Mmm. It's a little sweet, this one. Oh, and also a little peppery, the sauce. 
It was good. This is a meal for seven bucks. Massive. You have big dices of conch, nice and oily, also a little fluffy, crumbly, but you have so much conch in there. No, it has to be paired with this amazing conch sauce. You know, without it, it'll be too oily. Oh, but it's still delicious. Bahamian pot, that was amazing. On to the next pot, let's go. I'm conked up today. Next up, we're here at Conk It Up Soul Food. Yes, the best conk in town. Let's go. Narice. Hi. How are you? All right. How's everything going? Good. So tell me, what do you guys do here? We basically, this is called Conk It Up, where we provide good Bahamian cuisine, soul food. The specialty is collard greens, mac and cheese, string beans. We have our favorite shrimp and conk. When we add the sweet and sour, they love it. The sweet and sour conk? Yes, they love the sweet and sour conk. Oh, I think I'm gonna do the stewed conk though because that's the one thing I haven't tried. You're gonna love it. You're gonna stew the tomatoes. You're gonna get the good, the chef's gonna have the seasoning. You're gonna love it. And so your husband's Howard. Howard. And your father, you said, is Bahamian or? Yes, my father is definitely Bahamian. All his side is in Nassau, Bahamas. So you're first gen American? I mean, yes. Just like me. All right. First generation. So what does it feel like being a, like, is there a difference in terms of the Bahamians over there? And where are they from, in Nassau? Or? Right, Nassau. So basically here in Miami, because you know, we have a lot of Floridians. So when we bring the Bahamian style here, the customers love it. They love it. They go crazy. Because we're giving them the Bahamian taste. If they can't make it to Bahamas, they come here to cook it up. And what's your favorite dish? Um, my favorite dish would be the snapper. The snapper? I would say that, yeah. The red snapper? I gotta go with the snapper, yeah. It's the second time we've heard that today. That's yeah. funny, because I'm snapper. on a conk tour, but the, I snap, the snapper is the same. No, but I don't want to switch you, but the conk, you're going to love the sweet and sour conk. You need to try it. But By the way, I'm like blown away. Yeah. I, I thought it was Rick Ross for a second, guys. Right, I know. <laughs> Coming to the back. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. No, it, it's it's scary how how the resemblance. Hey. Howard. Hey, how you doing? How you my doing? My man, how you doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? How y'all doing? doing? Very good. Okay, okay, so, okay. What's what's going on? I'm ready. I'm ready. Stew conk. Stew conk. Yeah, stew conk. I'm gonna prepare you a nice stew conk meal. Nice Bahama and American mixed together. So what are you adding here? I'm going to um, put my little garlic, my little minced garlic, and I'll make my stew conk. Put my onions in there. So for the stewed conch is similar to the conch salad? No, no conch salad. It's no, I'm just saying the bell pepper, the onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make the stew, you gotta have the best one for the stew. And is the stew, is it gonna be red? Because I saw another one that was red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, look at that butter. So how'd you get into cooking uh, Bahamian cuisine? Since I know I already cook, I know how to do pretty good. I've been to culinary art. I learned this in school, I loved it. Back when I was going to school, everybody, they wanted to cook, but they wanted the easy way out. So my homeboy, them, they bought cereal. So they ain't, they ain't take it real like I took it real. I cooked the meal. They brought mostly all the high school staff down to eat while they want to make cereal. I cooked pancakes, bacon, egg. They want to bring cereal. So I was, the talk of the, I was talking to them. And me and my, me and my other friend were just talking to town about that. Because you were making pancakes and? Yeah, sausage, egg. Oh. It was at Carol City Senior High. Same school where the breeders come from, like Rick Ross, me, and football players. I don't forgot their name, but you got home hitters there come out of there. So you grew up with Rick Ross, you were saying? Yeah, we, yeah, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Around. I'm just older than him. But we went, we came with the same fellas. Has he come here a lot? Oh, of course. Yeah? When you see, hey, who the who in there? You know, you, you know how they do it. They call me, ask who in there. Anybody but I come through, he come through the pressure knives. Got it. And he loved it. Yeah. What I love about Rick Ross is all his tattoos. Hey. I'm a tattoo fan, so. He, he's a tattoo man. He's a tattoo man. That's what it is. Does he eat conch, like a lot of conch? Oh, gee, he go crazy about this. So you got a tomato. Nice juicy tomato, then you have the onions and the bell pepper. And next up, he's gonna throw in the conch. Oh, and the seasoning. Some seasoned salt. My favorite conch is I eat this and I eat a, a, um, 
the um, sweet and sour conk. The sweet and sour conk? Oh, man. I, I came up with that idea. Sweet, I hear, hear people say sweet and sour shrimp. So I wanted to be different when I opened this business, me and my wife. I came up with the sweet and sour conk. There ain't nobody doing it in Miami. I want to be the first one to do it. And that'll be my signature. And trust me, mm, you won. They ain't used to that. So wow. I'm like, wow. But I love uh, sweet and sour chicken, Chinese dish. Yeah. I so it's inspired. It's inspired. I can do that too. You can do that too? However they want it, they get it. <laughs> sweet and sour shrimp? Well, I, I wish you would have told me earlier we would have just done that dish. It's his, it's his oh, signature. It's everything is here, but, but ain't nobody. I try to be different. But everybody doing the same thing in Miami. Yeah. I want. I just want to stand out. I want to do something different. So I came up with the sweet and sour conk, and that took off. Yeah, it's hard because especially if you're focusing on like Bahamian cuisine, you can't go off the script and not have uh, like all these conk dishes, conk fritters, uh, right. cracked conk. You have to have. Oh, here's a conk right here, and that that conk is raw. Yeah. Yes, yeah, raw conk, raw conk, and I got an iced up fresh, iced up fresh. You want to taste a piece? Just like that? I don't like it raw. No, like I'll tell you, I like it raw. Huh? <laughs> hey. Like it. Dizzy at. <laughs> right. Dizzy. Con conquer it. Conquer it up. Conquer it up, baby. You get that dizzy at. Go take a woman to get some of this. Mm. A little wine. Oh, it's nice, cold, fresh. Yeah. Oh, it went down smooth. You got to keep it. Who, how, how many, you want to eat some of this? No, yeah, we're definitely eat, but we'll definitely eat some of that. I gotta try your steam conk, but if I knew the sweet and sour was a signature, no, that's a, I mean, let's do one sweet and sour conk. Okay. That's yeah, because if it's your signature, we should we should include it. So, chef, how long is it gonna take to cook? Oh, quick. Conk is delicate. You don't want to cook it too hard. You're gonna eat rubber. Okay, so you guys do the rubbery. You can't cook this no more like two or three minutes. That's the thing about seafood with shrimp and cum. You can't cook that long. No more limit than I give three minutes the most. Oh, yeah. Other than that, you'll be like eating raisins. I yeah. didn't know that about a shrimp, but like sometimes I cook shrimp and I overcook it and then it's like, ah, it's yeah, like rubber. You, no more two and a half to three minutes for shrimp and cum. And then it's delicate and soft. If you cook too much, you are overcook it. So you got to stay on top of that. Well, so is that sweet and sour conch? Right, this is the conch. This is frying, frying the conch, right? right? And once she lifts it up, she's going to dip the sauce. We're going to dip it in the sauce. Perfect. So we're making the sweet and sour conch. Right. She's frying the conch right here, and then they're going to uh, bathe it, it in the sauce. Bathe it in sauce, correct. And then this is the sweet and sour sauce. She can pour it on up. She can dip it in the <laughs> I love that rich right. sauce. It's like yeah. so red. You're a vampire, huh? You're a vampire. It's amazing. It's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be crunchy. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah. Is this your best seller? Yeah. Yeah, it's your best seller? Yeah. You love it. Also, did you, uh, you tried, you ate yeah. conk salad? Conk day. Conk day. Yeah, a lot of restaurants here in Miami, they specialize in conk. Coming out with it? Yeah. It's not a that way get a south, down south. They um, don't have it. I, I got to get a little freak, a little parsley look. Not too much. Sweet and sour conk, one of our main signature, signature dish. So it's freshly made cook of Chef Howard and Johnny's Ross. So how should I start? First, I want you to start with the stew conk. This looks incredible. Right. Look Getting that. the taste. Stewed. Right. The mixed vegetables. I love it. That's what I love to hear. Okay, great. So it's like the ceviche, squeeze but just right, not, not the same. Line. Squeeze some lime. No, it's better than ceviche. Right, squeeze some lime. Right. Get this right here. Mm -hmm. Squeeze it. Because ceviche is more like the salad. And you also usually have in a cup or a bowl. This right. is on a plate. Correct. I love it. It's an amazing plate. tomato uh, base here. Right. Okay. Mmm. 
Okay. Oh, great combo together. Yes. With tomato with this. Right. It's funny. I keep saying I'm gonna have one bite, but like the food is just epic right. and epic and better and I'm better. I'm glad you love it. Yes. Okay. Close I don't want to eat too much. This man, it's this is the best dish so far of the day. Okay. Straight up. But right. we have this one, which right. looks even so, better. Right. This is our cook it up signature dish. So this is what they prepare for you. Mm -hmm. Dip the cup in the batter. We fry it, then we put our sauce to it. That's called the sweet and sour cup. Sweet and sour cough, we got collard greens. Collard greens, you have my favorite mac and cheese made by me. Oh, wow. We have yellow rice with peas. The customers love it. So they rice and peas. The brown rice, but the customers prepare, I don't know, that's what they say they like. So this we get them customers what they like. I'm going to try this. Right, try this sweet and sour conch. So you have the breading of the conch mixed right. with the sweet and sour sauce. There we go. Oh my gosh, right. This is the best dish of the day. The no, this dish. is better, this is better. Oh, you said it's better. It is better. You know what I love? I love the sweet, like the sweet glazy sauce. Right, that's what you're getting. That's the taste. That's the taste we want the customers to get. Mm. And you pair that with some mac and cheese? Right. We got the baked mac and cheese. The mac favorite. and cheese. Yes. Okay, let's see where you rate the mac and cheese. Mmm. Okay. Mmm, creamy. Right. That's what we like. Your food's so good. But it's like creamy, no, right? it's like homey food. Right, so right now you're eating, that's why I said this is the twist of the soul food, because you're getting mac and cheese and mm -hmm. getting the collard greens with the rice. This is so bomb. Right. I don't know how to explain it, Okay. but that mixed with some yeah, of the rice. Yeah, mix it with that. Okay. Can't go wrong. This is the one dish you have to try. One Number one conch dish in Miami right here. In Miami. Sweet and sour conch. That conch it up. Yes. No, seriously. That is right. it's too good. Caribbean Chinese. Mm -hmm. yeah, you we, can't beat that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Caribbean Chinese combo. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to beat. Hard to beat. Impossible to beat. And we, yeah, we're making it with the conch. Wow. Look at that. What are you doing to me? Like, I, I literally ate like four pounds of conch today. He like it. He like it. Mm. So would you prefer this? The sweet and sour conch or the stool conch? No, sweet and sour. Right, that's, yeah. That's what the customer, wow. that's the number one. I'm Top in love seller. with it. Can I lick the plate? That's how good it is. Right. <laughs> so do people usually mix these uh, flavors together like this? I mean, to be honest, after we fix the plate, they go home, we don't know what they do. But I'm <laughs> sure. Right, I'm quite sure, because most of the customers, they want the sweet and sour sauce over their french fries. They love those french fries as well. Mm. They want it to drip, yes. I mean, the combo. Um, so the combination is good. Mm -hmm. right? It's all these different textures and flavors together. Right. Wow, but the sweetness on that sweet and sour. Yeah. And that's a special recipe you right. guys made? that's a special recipe. Because so. we've been open now going on eight years. Eight years, congrats. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was great. Right. Like, Fluffa, I'm going to finish it, bro. Right. So they say say them some. They won't I'll, have a, I'll have some more of the stew. The stew's good. Right. The stew's uh, like so. Yeah, but I think you prefer the sweet and mm. sour. You know what it is? That would cap, yeah. If you want to be on the healthier side, go with the stew. It's light. Right. It's healthy. Correct. This is like almost like a just pescatarian diet. Mm -hmm. Over here you have a lot more rich flavors right. and, and heavy. Correct. Yeah, but that's sweet and sour. Talk we have a bunch of celebrities here, right? Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Who do we well, got? Well, Fredo Bain, he, when he first came here in Miami, he came here a lot. He loved our food. That's JT Money. JT I don't Money. Know, from the Poison Clan. Okay. Right. I don't know him. Uncle Luke, you know Uncle yeah, Luke. Yeah, that's for sure. The one who started the best they ever do, Uncle Luke. This is me, I'm the <sighs> owner. Hi. The owner. Right, be careful. It, okay, so here it's the comp burger. They love the comp burger as well. Oh, the comp burger. With this, they love it, and you know, for the healthy people that want to eat healthy, these are salads. We do offer salads, fish, shrimp, and we we could grill it, saute it, however they want it. So heavy seafood. Right. Exactly. Heavy seafood. Um, this is the conch and fries. So what you tried was a stew conch. That's down that way. Right. That's our yeah. other dish. And this is you know other little things. We have potato salad, collard greens. They want that soul food taste. Now, I forgot to mention, this is our number one seller too, as well. Pork, pork chop sandwiches. They love it. You get them two big pork chops, they go crazy. Well, I thought you told me this was the number one I dish. I know, I did. Everything is like the number one dish, right? <laughs> right, this is the banana pudding. Banana pudding. Right. This looks amazing. It's very good. It's like whipped. Freshly just made, I just made it. Cut the bananas up, we put the wafer cookies, and we oh, have okay. the pudding itself. Mm. Oh, Mmm. Love it. What you think, Chef? Oh my gosh. It's like whipped bananas in here. With the you cookie? Put a lot. Put more mm. bananas. No, plus the bananas in there. Right. 
Oh my Lovely. gosh, this is so fluffy. <laughs> it reminds me of like panacota, like super Look fluffy. So fluffy. Mm. Love it. Love it. All right. We love the banana pudding. This is such a decadent sweet. And I never right. see the, the banana pudding. I usually see like the lime cakes. Right. And right, but we in here. This is better. Right. See, we'll be coming uh, praying another business to cock it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Is this yeah. is this the Bahamas in your mouth right here? Mm-hmm. Well. Fresh you made. Banana pudding. This is one of my favorite desserts in Miami right now. Okay. You killed me with this one. Oh, okay. you heard mm. Howard. Ah, thank Howard. You. Sweet and sour. Right. This is, oh, this is like. I'm glad you like Meal it. five within two hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. But it's so fluffy. Right. It's almost like an egg tart. Like, um, you know, one of those, um, what are the, the sweet Portuguese custard? custard? Oh, oh, okay. Pastel, right. Mm -hmm. The top is like pastel. All right. Yeah, oh, wow. That's in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Glad you got it. I'm like, I can't, I can't. No, I, you know, for me, banana is my favorite thing. So like banana right. cake, uh, banana bread. Mm -hmm. What oh, else? Yeah, I love banana. banana colada. I've even had like right. that. Right, the pudding. And you do this from scratch? Mm -hmm. Wow. Took the top, take the top. They love it. When I run out, they be mad. So they even got the banana pudding. <laughs> Switch with this one? Right, this the this the tea and this the um uh, no the well that's the lemonade, this the tea. So oh you mix it? Flop. Right, I mix it. Yeah, sure. Was that an honor farmer? Right. Wanna drink it out of the cup or you want a straw? Oh that's good. Okay. Sample it. Um what is this called? Armor Palmer. Armor Palmer. Oh he thirsty. Oh my gosh. Wow. So refreshing. It's sweet. Mm, it's super sweet. <laughs> Damn, that was good. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I was thirsty. <laughs> you in the, the hood. You know, yeah, this is what they call the hood. That's nah, fine. No, no. It's fine. You know, it's funny because people are like, oh, you're going to the hood today. I'm like, ah, oh, it's Miami. It's like, everywhere I go, it's, it's weird. It's like the hood, then you have a rich neighborhood in the hood. It's like, it's like, it's evolved. But where are we right now? You're in Liberty, Liberty City. Liberty City. They call it the 40s, this area. The 40s. Right. Jackson High School right down the street. But it's it's becoming different, right? It's gentrifying. Yeah, they, yeah, they doing a lot of changes, but we yeah. still call it Liberty City. Yeah, because I know Alapata and Little River are completely changing. Yeah. Everything is going up. Yes, everything is up high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for today. Thank you. I'm conked out. Yeah. That was our Bahamian tour of Miami. Yes, he came to conk it up. I'm only going to eat this conk for the rest of my life, the sweet and sour conk. Right, because he love it. I have to get a picture with you <laughs> on my phone. Yeah. On my phone. Yeah. We got to get a picture. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. This is the Bahamian community in Miami. Conk it up. Yes.